Hello, my name is Maddie Borland, and today we're going to be going over 15 of the most commonly asked questions in rabbit showmanship. I have been showing rabbits for nearly eight years, and questions is a huge portion of showmanship. These 15 questions I have memorized, and it has set me apart from my fellow showmen, and today I'm going to share those with you. The first question that I get commonly asked is what is conjunctivitis? If you haven't already, you can check out our previous video where we went over all of the steps to showmanship. And it's not only important to know the name of these viruses and diseases, but also how it may affect your rabbit. So it's really important that when the judge asks these, we can give them a very educated answer so that they know we're not just memorizing the names, but also behind it and what, how it can affect our rabbits. So conjunctivitis is an inflammation of the inner eye or the third eyelid, and this is a viral infection. The second question is, what is pigeon breast? This question relates directly back to question one, where we go over this in our showmanship routine. Pigeon breast is a defect that rabbits are born with. A rabbit's rib cage is typically rounded, but in the case of pigeon breast, it actually comes to a point down at their chest. This can vary from just a slight point up to a very, very severe point, and it can interfere with their lungs. So it's something we really want to look for, especially if we're looking at rabbits that we're keeping into our breeding program, because we don't want those to be passed down to our younger rabbits. Question number three is, what is the gestation period for a rabbit? For those of you that don't know what a gestation period is, this is the point from which the rabbit gets pregnant to the point from which it goes into labor. This can vary from 28 to 31 days. There are certain factors that we like to keep in mind that can induce a rabbit's labor prematurely, which one of the most common ones is heat. So especially when we're coming into the summer months, we like to make sure that our does that are later on in their pregnancies stay nice and comfortable so we don't induce a premature labor, and then we might get some baby rabbits that have a harder time staying alive. Question number four is, what is worth the most amount of points for your specific breed? I personally show Himalayans, and the answer is body and markings, but this is going to vary throughout all of the different breeds. If you're not sure about your breed, you can check it out in the American Rabbit Breeders Association Standard of Perfection. And this shows all of the different points for each different section of your rabbit, and you can go ahead and find which one there is worth the most points. Question number five is, how many teeth do rabbits have, and what are they called? Rabbits actually have 28 teeth, and these teeth include top and bottom incisors, peg teeth, premolars, and molars. Question number six is, what is the most important nutrient for rabbits? This question kind of confused me at first because I assumed it had something to do with food, but the actual answer is just water. Rabbits can live without certain nutrients in their feed, though they might become slightly deficient, but they absolutely cannot live without water. Question number seven is, what is the fur type for your rabbit? There are five different fur types throughout all 50 breeds recognized by the American Rabbit Breeders Association. And these are flyback, rollback, standing, rex, or wool. And it has all of the information on your rabbit's fur that you need to know in the standard of perfection. Question number eight is, what does ARBA stand for? ARBA stands for the American Rabbit Breeders Association. Question number nine is, how many breeds are recognized by the American Rabbit Breeders Association? There are 50 breeds recognized by the American Rabbit Breeders Association as of 2022. Question number 10 is, what are the specific faults and disqualifications for your breed of rabbit? This is going to vary among all of the different breeds, so it's important that you refer back to the standard of perfection to know the specific faults and disqualifications for the breed of rabbit that you're showing. Question number 11 is, how many body types are there? There are seven body types recognized by the American Rabbit Breeders Association, including the most recent addition, the high head mount type. These consist of cylindrical, compact, commercial, full arch, semi arch, high head mount type, and mandolin. You can check out the American Rabbit Breeders Association standard of perfection to find out what body type your specific breed is. Question number 12 is, name five other rabbit breeds other than your own. You don't have to worry about picking the most complicated breeds as long as they know that you know five other rabbit breeds, that's all that matters. Question number 13 is, what does it mean if your rabbit is broken? It doesn't literally mean that they're broken, but it means that they have their solid base color with white mixed in with it. Here is one of our rabbits here on the ranch. His name is Luke, and he is a broken opal. So you can see that he has the same coloration as an opal, but he has the white color mixed in all throughout his body. 
Question number 14 is how do we keep a rabbit cool in the summertime? Here where we are it gets very hot, so it's very important that we get to keep our rabbits cool in those hotter days. A couple of the steps that we like to take is spraying down the room that they're in and setting up a fan to keep cool air circulating, giving them frozen water bottles for them to lay on, and spritzing their ears off with water. These are all acceptable answers to give to the judge. Question number 15 is how many colors does your breed of rabbit come in? I personally show Himalayans, they come in black, blue, lilac, and chocolate. You can check out how many different colors your breed will come in in the standard of perfection. There's a list right at the top. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot. If you haven't already, you can check out our rabbit showmanship video where we go in depth to the different steps of showing your rabbit. We'll see you next time.